Hey now, Carl the Madman here. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Just went down to the shop to set up the heater for tonight because where it is, rumor has it, there's a solenoid waiting for me at work. If that's the case, I'm heading to the shop tonight. As you saw, I made bread this morning. Helps when you open the door. <laughs> Worky work work, let's go worky worky work work worky work work. On my solenoid, on my dog, I'm on my way. Hello. So I never manages to pick up any uh, gas line for the rotor chiller so uh tonight's not going to be the roto garage tonight's going to be the moto garage because i got a solenoid solenoid let's put her in pull that bike out and stick it in there it's exciting this is exciting I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm like really excited. Like so excited. I'm like very excited. Very, very excited. Very excited. Okay, I got that new, old, new, old, used solenoid hooked up. Let's hook up that battery. Give it a whirl. Excited, excited. I'm excited. This is exciting, exciting. Okay, we have tail light. Try the starter. Hmm. Still not the... Hmm. 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 Well, that's disappointing. Hmm. So either this solenoid is hooped itself, or there's something else going on completely. Hmm. This one's got quite a bit of corrosion on the red end here. Maybe I'll take it out apart and clean it up. Maybe I'll do that right now. Okay, so I cleaned up that uh, connection there, but uh, that was not the problem. And then I decided, okay, well, let's sort of bypass. Well, let's not bypass. Let's check. The cable that goes from the from, uh, this side of the solenoid this cable is the one that runs all the way to the power on the starter so I connected it I connected it directly with uh, this one took it off the solenoid connected those two together 
these two together. <laughs> this one and that one. And this one and that one. Connected them together, bypassing the solenoid. And she turns over. So, I'm going to have to do a little bit of homework. Because, you know, I'm not an expert at this stuff. I'm like a backyard guy. And uh, this is deeper into electronics than I uh, have ever gone or like to go. <laughs> um, every bike I've ever worked on, the electronics has all worked fine. But I will figure this out. But anyways, so that tells me this cable, there's nothing wrong with this cable. Because I was starting to wonder, okay, is there something wrong with this cable? There's nothing wrong with this cable. Yeah, so I hooked it up to the ground, and as soon as I touched the battery, it turned over. So, but that was bypassing the solenoid, like I said. So, my thinking is, is this solenoid is hooped as well. But if any of you mechanic guys out there that are real mechanics, are real more mechanics than me, are real more electronic-minded than me, have another uh, idea, let me know in the comments below. But I've been monkeying around out here now for a couple of hours, and uh, I'm going to call it a night. So, hmm. Can't be that difficult. Anyways, thanks, thanks for, thanks for, as always, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Oh, that's what I said at the beginning. Have a great day. Hey. Eh?